they have like numbers to them, and then like the higher the number, the, the better they are. If they have uh, I on the end of them or Titan, then they're like a better class. I'm not absolutely sure, but I don't know how they compare against each other to AMD to GTX on like the same specs or it's just numbers to me. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. As a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh for me a truck driver. Mm. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, hmm. mm -hmm. I I remember when I was over at your place, you showed me a a little paper that you wrote to an actual trucker about what his daily routine was like. Yep, when I was a kid, uh... Yeah, when I was a kid, I had absolutely I was talking out of my ass, but for the longest time, I created this name for what a uh, a well essentially a doctor I don't know what the hell was wrong with me but I call it a body biologist looking back on that I was like what the fuck are you talking about me and like uh, realistic like uh, the one time that I actually woke up and realized no this is not what you want to do is on my sixth grade field trip, we ended up going to a college somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we went into uh, a room that had human organs inside of jars lining the wall. And I just felt sick. And I was like, well, fuck you, Gordon. This is not what you're going to do. And I just fell in line with the... Uh, what my family business was and I wanted to have a grocery store and I'd say that's probably the one that I want to stick to because the previous one doesn't exist so <laughs> alright uh, it's asking things again now we already answered that one What is the first thing that you notice when meeting someone new? No idea. Me? It's their penis that's hanging out from their zipper. Uh, um, even girls, you know? I'm not going to judge there. Like, girls can have their penises hanging out. <laughs> Gordon? I, I got some startling news that's going to shake the foundation of everything that you know. Um, what's the first thing that I notice when I look at uh, their height? Then, like, uh, how tall they are. That's mm -hmm, how I, mm -hmm. And usually the way that it usually announces itself to me is, like, uh, either A, are they smaller than me, or B, are they taller than me? And then it probably goes to their gender. So they're like a gender indicator. So, you know, if it's a guy, they usually have broad shoulders and uh, facial hair or, you know, all the indicators that males have and ones that females have. But then again, this is probably going on to a too literal level. They probably wanted something like their eyes or their hair. And be like, eh, I really don't give a shit. What like I, I don't notice bald people. Like, I'm I'm the raptor equivalent of uh I can't see something unless they have hair. How did I get on this tangent? <laughs> what was the last book that you read? Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Uh you like uh, the last one? The what was the last one in that book series? Uh, or... it, it was uh... really, Jerry. It's your favorite game. Not favorite game. Game, movie, movie, book. And... 
book. Uh, Gra uh, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> um, one minute. Let me. Uh, I have it in my closet right here. It's too dark to see. Oh my god, I have the internet right in front of me. Oh, I wish I ended up knowing something. Too bad I don't have something that has the collected works of human knowledge in it. Uh, Harry Potter. Uh, last book. Oh, wait. Well, I looked at this one. I, I, I googled it, and there's a book called uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two. Okay. The Cursed Child, huh? And it's Deadly Hollows. Deadly Hollows is the last one in the book series. Uh, speaking of which, uh, have you seen the trailer for... Uh, Mythical Beasts and Where to Find Them, I think that's what it was called. Uh, no, but, uh, 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 it sounds, looks, sounds like, uh, one of the, uh, games for, games, wow. Really? Hmm. Uh, one of the the uh books for from uh the from the the world and uh, one yeah. of the it it was it was uh I think it was one of the oh, Kagome. What are you doing? She's crawling in all the wires. I gotta put it in a pipe or something like that. You know how, like, uh, some... You, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you take a PVC pipe, and then you cut a line all the way down the side of it, and then you push all the wires through it, so it's nice and neat. Fantastic. Yeah, I think it was one of the books. The one that was, like, living, and then you had to stroke its spine so that it wouldn't eat you. Uh, no, that was the Monster Books of Monsters. Ah. Something along those lines. Uh, another thing that everyone should know about Jared is that he will school you on everything Harry Potter. I mean, I, I, I thought I knew everything about Harry Potter. No, Jared knows more. <laughs> so that's really good. Oh no. Okay. I thought I ended up closing the tab that I had a conversation started off. What was the last book I read? Uh, would graphic novels count? Yeah, uh, Lupin the Third. It's a manga, which I was introduced to by a television so show, but uh, went to a convention back in April, and the guy was selling them for like uh, three dollars a book, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll put some money down on that. Got like uh, five books. Almost to. Mm. Ah. Oh, for your money. Uh, uh for your subscribers. Yep. Ah, nice. What's the first thing that you notice about a guy slash girl? How about we do the gender opposite? And we'll start mm -hmm. with girl, and then mm -hmm. we'll go with guy. What's the first thing that you notice about girls? Sometimes they're smarter than us. Well, you know what? It didn't really specify. But, uh, you know what? I will agree with you there. Is that girls tend to be more intelligent than, uh, than guys. Oh, it's not like an adhered rule, but in my experience. So... I would say the first thing that I notice about girls is, through an appearance, uh, appearance standpoint, is probably... Hmm. 
Mm. Shit, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Height. Like, uh, they're typically smaller than, uh, t smaller than me. I'm a six foot three inch guy. And that's only my penis. Mm, yeah, I'm dumb. So, yeah, after that, it would probably be... I guess... Like, lips. Is that fair to say? Yeah. I, I have a hard... I have a hard time looking at people in the eyes, so it probably wouldn't be that. It was like I was always raised to uh, not look at uh, my superiors in the eyes, so. As for guys, what do I notice first? Let's just detract from, like, the height thing. Shoulders. Muscles and uh, sex pack. Yeah, that was. <laughs> uh, and then you come across the guy with like a beer gut. You're like, what is this thing? And you know what? That's fine. That's that's a that's a reasonable response. What do you like to do on a rainy day? Yeah, you know, I, it's always a good day to be around your girl. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, me, you know, have you ever, do you know what uh, a metronomic pattern is, or the concept of? No. Is that we as human beings, and many other creatures, we have a tendency to fall asleep when we hear repeating patterns. And, uh, the reason for that is that when we were, like, in our mother's womb and, you know, we were being baked in the oven, we were constantly hearing her heartbeat and we were constantly being fed, a, like, a, a certain sedative to keep us calm. And, like, uh, on a subconscious level, when we hear repeating patterns, it makes us think of back in the time on a subconscious level of uh, that and we fall asleep so a lot of people when they're going on car trips and they're going down the highway and you know how highways are built in segments yeah. and the tire huh? goes over the segment as it goes dunk, <laughs> dunk, dunk. and people like uh, fall asleep on long car trips or me when it rains and my father <laughs> well no it makes complete sense because it's a lot less maintenance he uh, invests in metal roofs roofs does that make sense anyway like uh, the rain falling on it is also a form of a metronomic pattern and, uh -huh. like, when it rains, I just <laughs> want to fall asleep. <laughs> what did you have for dinner last night? Uh, cookies. Cookies! You know, I almost made cookies last night. What kind of cookies? Big animal yeah. cookies? The animal cookies. Huh? Like, uh, how big are they? Or crackers or whatever. I call it a cookie. Like, uh, you said they were big. Is it like your traditional size one, or did they come out with, like, absurdly huge ones? Uh, well, it's big, a, a big container. Oh, a big container. Okay. 